The Dundas Center for Performing Arts finding itself in a bind and now needs the public's help with raising $150,000 to get the center fully functional and lucrative again. It was one of many businesses forced to shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but were excited at the opportunity to reopen in 2021. Much to their dismay, however, they were met with more challenges to work through, according to chairman of the center's board, Nicolette Bethel. We discovered that the 40-year-old air conditioning system in the Winston V. Saunders Theatre, where we are sitting, sweating, had seized up and it is beyond repair and must be replaced. With the help of a few benefactors, Bethel says they have successfully raised $40,000 thus far, but they're hoping to secure the balance soon, as it is only the tip of the iceberg for the amount of work needed to address the concerns on the 82-year-old building. It does have termites. It does have roof damage, roof damage um, of various kinds from various historical events going back to various hurricanes. Um, we are in need of replacing the roof. Eventually, we, we could have done some patch jobs and we can work it. We need, as I said, to replace the air conditioning. We will need to replace the stage because in the last two years, there's been a lot of termite activity. Um, we will need to refurbish the bathrooms and redo the bathroom roof. The Philippe Burroughs roof also needs redoing. While the center also has a smaller black box theater, Bethel says it's no comparison to the business the Winston v. Seymour Theater brought in. She says it has been recommended that the center purchase eight separate units to service the various areas of the theater. And she says once they're in, the board would be in a better standing to address all of the other above-mentioned issues. The two years they've spent closed, she estimated that they lost $200,000 Artistic director Philip Seymour said the center gets most of its funding from rentals. We were able to come back at the end of last year and, and have a couple of rentals in the black box. And we, we did the production Competent Authority, which was the first major production that took place um, in that space. So it's been pretty lean. At the end of 2019, we were almost taking in $90,000 to $100,000 in a year. In 2020, when we closed, we lost, we lost a lot of that revenue. Tinferl was in the property, and Tinferl, I think, put $15,000 into the theater for the year that they were here. Since its opening, Bethel says the center has made it on its own without the help of government subventions or consistent donations from corporate Bahamas. She says they are hoping to change that in the coming years. There are also a number of projects you can expect to hear and see more about soon that will also aid in fundraising. Reporting for the Nassau Guardian, I'm Janelle Longley.